Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create some really cool images and then move them over to do a face swap in Discord. It's very, very cool, it's quick, it's easy, and best of all, you can free face swap. That's right, face swapping is free. So let me show you how to do it and here we go. All right, so we need to jump into ChatGPT so that I can actually create an image to use that I'm gonna face my, uh, swap my face with. Now, you don't have to use ChatGPT. You could use anything like Copilot or Midjourney or any other sort of image generator out there that you want, or you could use basically, you know, your own image if you want to. But let's jump into ChatGPT. And here we are, and I actually already created a image that I wanna use right here, and this is a superhero that character that I created. So. I'm gonna go ahead and save him into my face swap folder right there. And now, what we wanna do is next head over to uh, Discord so that we can create our own face swap server. So here we are inside of Discord and or at the Discord homepage. Now, if you have, uh, if you're on your computer, you can download this. I'm on a Mac, so you can download this for Mac or you can get it for Windows too. But I just like to use it in the browser, so I'm gonna go ahead and click open Discord. Now, once you're here in Discord, just come over here, and if you're brand new, you're not gonna have any of this stuff because, well, you won't have any servers on here. But what you can do is just come over here and click Add a Server, and I'm gonna click that. And now it's gonna ask me if I wanna create my own. So create your own server. So I'm gonna go ahead right here where it says Create My Own. And once I click that, you'll see where it says For Me and My Friends or For a Club and Community. I wanna click For Me and My Friends, so I'll click that there. And now I have the option of adding a photo and adding a name in here. I'm gonna leave the photo like it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and change the name and I'm just gonna call this Face Swap Tutorial. And there we have it, Face Swap Tutorial. So let's go ahead and click Create. And we have created our, our, uh, our Face Swap uh, server there. So now what we wanna do is simply come to this site right here, which is Pixie AI. It's P-I-C-S-I dot A-I. So P-I-C-S-I dot A-I. And we're gonna come right here to where it says more for free now. So we're gonna click where it says more for free now. And when we click it, it's gonna take us down the page to this section right here where it's gonna walk us step by step how to actually get the whole thing set up and start swapping faces. But what we wanna do uh, right now is focus on step three, which is invite the bot to your server. So we're gonna go ahead right here where it says click here to invite the bot. And when we do, it's going to open up in Discord and you'll see an external application, Insight Face wants to access your Discord account. And I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. But before I do, make sure right here where it says add to server, if you have more than one server, click on that and make sure that the server that you created and for your face swapping is selected. So I have it selected right there, uh, face swap tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead now and click continue. And I'm gonna go ahead now and authorize this so that we can get going. And it said, I'm gonna have to click the little captcha. And it says that success, I have my insight. Uh, insight has been authorized and added to face swap tutorial. And I'm gonna go to that server now where it says go to face swap tutorial. All right, now that we have the server set up and we have the face swapping part into the server, let's go ahead and add a photo that I'm going to use for me, my face, that I'm gonna swap into other stuff here. So what we wanna do is just go ahead and click forward slash. And we're gonna look for save ID out of the commands here, we'll click that. And now where it says ID name, I wanna go ahead and just type in an ID name. So I'm just gonna put law two. And then where it says drag and drop, drop or click to upload file, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this photo right here that I took with my phone. And I'm gonna go ahead now and create that ID. So there we go, we can see it says ID name law two created. So. Now, what we wanna do here to actually swap in the face photo is pretty easy. Right here where we have the little plus button, we're gonna go ahead and click that. And we're gonna go ahead and upload a file. And it's gonna take me here. I'm, you can navigate to wherever you want in your system. I'm here in my uh, Larry face swap folder. I'm gonna click where it says Dolly 3. And this is, the, this is that uh, photo that I, I created in Dolly 3 or the image. And I'm gonna open that up. And I'm gonna hit return so that it uploads it. And make sure that it is not expanded. If you click on it, it will expand 
You don't want it to do that. You want it here just as a regular message. And then on the image, just right click it and go down to where it says apps. And then from here where it says in swapper, that's what we want. I'm going to click where it says in swapper. It's going to take just a few moments here and boom, just like that, it has swapped out the face. And now I'm a superhero, just like that. So <laughs> now if it's not perfect, you can always go back and do it again. But that is the gist of it. That is how it works. Now, if you have um, if you have images from something else, maybe you have an image you downloaded and you want to put your face in there, you can do that too. And let me quickly show you how to do that. So it's going to work much of the same way. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the little plus button. I'm going to choose right here where it says upload a file. And here we go. You can see there's a movie poster of Denzel. And I'm going to click that there and click upload. And now I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it and choose apps and swapper. And it's going to take just a few moments there for it to work. And boom, just like that, we now have my uh, my, my uh, face swapped out there. Now the, it does look like here, for some reason, it looks like the, uh, the face part's a little bit messed up. So I might need to upload a different photo to, uh, to make this actually work there. But you can see there what it's doing. So, and if you wanna try something else, we'll do, we'll do another one just for fun here. We'll grab one. Let's see, that's Killmonger there. We'll grab Killmonger, upload him, and then Let's go ahead and do the uh, the end swapper again. And there it is. <laughs> I am now Killmonger. Now you can see there it had a little trouble with the dreadlocks that were over his face there. So, um, but it actually did, did, it did a decent job of swapping me out there, even though it did have some trouble with his dreads. So uh, as you can see right there, it looked like it was trying to do it, but they almost look like they almost look like scars now instead of uh, dreadlocks that are in front of the face. So this this really works best when you have a unobscured face, both on the uh, both for the source face and the uh, and the thing that you're swapping out faces with the image you're swapping out faces with. So, anyways, there you go. You can do this and set this up on your Discord server and you can swap out, I believe it's like 50 free uh, for, you know, images a day uh, for free. If you want a paid version, you can do up to 200 a day. And I think there's even some higher tiers. I think there's one that's like 400 or 800 and there's another one that's unlimited. So now if you have the paid version, they do allow you to do some other cool things like you can swap out multiple faces. So let's say you have a family photo and you want to swap out the faces or move them around. Maybe you want to put the, the baby's face on the dad and the dad's face on the mom or the mom's face on the son, whatever. You can do all kinds of craziness. You can do the multiple face swap um, if you have a premium version of the face swap Pixie, uh, Pixie AI service. Um, but again, it's free. So it's kind of awesome. And you don't have to actually use chat GPT to create the images, but that's why I like to do them because I feel like I have a lot more control and it's easy to make it happen there. But that's it. Face swap. Hope you enjoy it.